Hi there, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making cilantro chutney, a popular condiment hailing from India that you might have tasted if you've ever ordered an appetizer at an Indian restaurant. I encourage you to enjoy it as a tasty condiment with dal or kichari, or even fish, chicken, or eggs. You could also add a spoon or two to enhance the flavor of anything you're cooking, such as a soup or a stew. Are you ready to make this recipe? I'm gonna show you how, step by step. So what are the health benefits of this recipe? Like many of India's traditional recipes, cilantro chutney is a natural digestive aid known for supporting healthy digestion and reducing gas and bloating. When so many people are suffering from inflammation combined with weak digestion, cilantro is the perfect medicine. One of cilantro's biggest health benefits is its cooling quality. According to the wisdom of Ayurveda, cilantro has a very special prabhav or character, whereby it cools the digestive tract without leaving you shivering. Cilantro is also a natural antihistamine, which can be beneficial for allergies or flare-ups. It's also known to be supportive for detoxing heavy metals, such as mercury. Cilantro is also a mild diuretic, which helps to reduce excess water weight. This can be especially beneficial in the springtime or any time the outer or inner environment is damp. So in summary, if you often feel hot, flushed, or have other heat signs such as skin irritation or you have inflammation in your body, you will benefit from cilantro. The first thing you want to do is wash and coarsely chop the cilantro. Add the cilantro to a mini chopper or blender along with the fresh lemon juice. Add the water. Add in the coconut flakes, which are optional by the way, then the fresh ginger, the optional honey for sweetness, and finally a little bit of salt and black pepper. Once everything's in there, simply blend until coarsely processed. Make sure to taste and make any adjustments needed. Then transfer to a glass jar and store in the fridge for up to five days. Now hopefully it won't last that long. Enjoy this recipe and be sure to subscribe and leave a comment to let me know how you enjoyed this and encourage me to make more recipes for you. That's all for today. Bye for now. Have a good one.